On this episode of the Adventures of Rhonda and Shadana, we visit the Phoenix Vegan Night Market. The Night Market is located in downtown Phoenix, and downtown Phoenix has an arts district area called Roosevelt Row, where there are lots of murals all over the place. This was just one of the murals we saw. Our first stop was with Wild Dreams Candle Company. Most of their candles have crystals, and then there are some with rose petals or seashells. Don't worry, I already asked, and the melting wax does not damage the crystals in any way. They also sell wax melts and incense. Next up is the Better Piggies Rescue, where they focus on rescue, rehabilitation, adoption, and education. It was close to this little piggy's bedtime, so she was all tuckered out for the day. Next up, we passed by the delicious beverage sweet tea and lemonade stand. But surprisingly to us, they also sell grilled cheese, BLTs, and tuna melts, all vegan. Our first bite of the night came from Tacos Veganos. This was one of the restaurants that I wanted to visit during restaurant week, but didn't get a chance to. These tacos were so good. Now this is what solidified my coming to this night market. Look at this burger. And look at this chicken sandwich. Oh my God. Veggie Pan is a food truck from California. So I had to make sure that I tasted their food because I don't know when I would see them again. So Shadana got the OG hot fried chicken sandwich and she asked for the extra sauce and slaw just in case. Now I got their West Coast Bacon Cheeseburger and their Cheesy Waffle Fries. This is an in-house made cheese and it's really good because I don't like vegan cheese. But this burger and her chicken sandwich was bomb. Just look at this bacon. So one thing we weren't happy about is there is no place to sit and eat your food. Everyone's standing up eating or sitting on the ground eating. That's a no for us. We ended up finding a bench somewhere down the street to just sit down and eat our food. Our last bite to eat came from the infamous hot sauce and pepper for their cauliflower wings. The line was very long for them. And so, you know, if the line is long, the food is good. We waited about a little over an hour to get our food. And of course, it had to be leftovers because we already ate a lot. Even as leftovers, these cauliflower wings were amazing. Like, they might be the best that I've had so far. Now the mac and cheese and the fried rice were just I, but I'm definitely going back for more wings. Now remember that candle stand? We came back to finally buy our candles and they smell amazing. If you wanna buy your own candles, they're at the Awatuki Farmer's Market every Sunday. You can also follow them on Facebook and Instagram to find out where they'll pop up next. So the next Phoenix Vegan Night Market will be held November 13th from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. If this is something that interests you, I highly recommend that you check it out. That's all for now, but we'll catch you next time on the adventures of Rhonda and Shadana.